one second. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yep. Happy Michael Jackson Day. Can't forget about Farrah Fawcett, too. Xavier back again with another video. Before I start this rant, I got some bad news for you Houston Astros fans out there. Unfortunately, tonight's Astros-Tigers game has been postponed due to a inclement weather conditions in Motown. So, they will resume playing tomorrow and Sunday. So, it looks like the Astros have a three-game road trip against the Tigers instead of four. Damn. That means when the weather dies down, I can go do my walking. I'm not going to do it right now. It is too damn hot to be walking right now. From now on, for the rest of the summer, I'm going to wait till like 7 or 8 o'clock to do my walking or running because it is too damn hot to do it right now. But enough about that. Let's get to the subject of this rant. June 25th, 1996, eight days after my fifth birthday, Jay-Z released his debut album, Reasonable Doubt, by Rockefeller Records and Priority Records. The album debuted at number 23 on the Billboard 200 and number 3 on the top R&B slash hip-hop albums chart. It charted for 18 weeks on number 23. And the album was certified platinum. And as of 2006, it has sold 1.5 million copies here in the U.S. The album promoted with four singles include Feeling It, Dead Presidents, Ain't No Nigga, and Can't Knock the Hustle. Guest appearances include, of course, the late great Notorious B.I.G., Mecca, Memphis Bleak, Sauce Money, Jay-Z's mentor, Jazzo. Yeah, y'all know Jazzo was Jay-Z's mentor back in the late 80s, early 90s, back when Jay-Z was wearing those Hawaiian Sophie shirts. Foxy Brown and Mary J. Blige. A success, it had a critical success it has been ranked on several publications lists of the greatest rap albums ever, while many hip-hop fans have viewed it as Jay-Z's best work. I can't disagree with people saying that this is Jay-Z's best album. Looking back on this album 25 years later, it's a good album, but I'm not sure if I should consider it a classic because people bought the album but didn't listen to it good enough to be called a classic because we had other classic albums that came out in 1996 whether they're turning 25 or they're already 25 like the score by the Fugees All Eyes on Me by Tupac It Was Written by Nas Riding Dirty by UGK um, Sadat X's debut album I'm not sure I forgot what the name of that I think it's called Wild Cowboy Sadat X from Brand Nubian. Who else had an album in 96? Um, well, Tupac had two classic albums in 96, so Jay-Z didn't really have enough room. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I said Muddy Waters by Redman, right? Uh, Enigma by Keith Murray. Busta Rhymes, The Coming. The infamous Mob Deep, Hell on Earth. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Snoop Dogg, The Dog Father. No better than Doggy Style, but that was a good album that came out in 96. Shaq, You Can't Stop the Rain, another classic that came out in 96. Yeah, Jay-Z was there, but he wasn't really the person that people were actually looking forward to 
especially with that song. I know five songs off this album. Can't Knock the Hustle, Ain't No Nigga, Politics As Usual, Dead Presidents, and of course, the shirt that I'm wearing in honor of this album's 25th anniversary of my favorite song off the album, my all-time favorite, Brooklyn's Finest. That's my favorite song off the album. You know why? Because Biggie was featured on there. Biggie out-rapped Jay-Z on that song. Jay-Z, Biggie destroyed Jay-Z in his own song. If Biggie wasn't featured on this song, it would have never became my favorite. I'm glad Jay-Z was able to do songs with Biggie before Biggie got killed. Brooklyn's Finest off of Reasonable Doubt and I Love the Dough off of Life After Death. But if you think Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt is a classic, I won't be upset with you. I mean, I wouldn't call it a classic. It's a good album, but I wouldn't call it a classic because I'm not really a huge Jay-Z fan, to be honest. Not a huge Jay-Z fan, but he is a legend in the game. But I want to thank Jay-Z for 25 years of this amazing album, Reasonable Doubt. Can't believe it's been 25 years since that album came out. So in honor of the album's 25th anniversary, I am wearing... I don't have the album with me, but in honor of his anniversary, I'm wearing my shirt. Of my favorite track off the album, Brooklyn's Finest, with Biggie and Jay-Z. They are Brooklyn's Finest. Yep. But anyway, that wraps up my rant celebrating 25 years of Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt. Let me know in the comments down below, what are your favorite tracks off the album, and do you consider this album a classic? If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content, and hit that notification bell for my next anniversary rant. Get this video a thumbs up or thumbs down, leave your comment down below, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Reminiscing 21 years of an over-the-top rope match with Dean Malenko and Jerry the King Lawler from the June 26, 2000 edition of Raw is War. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Happy 25th anniversary to Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt. I love this shirt. Jay-Z and Biggie, Brooklyn's Finest.